Good afternoon. Racism in football is under the spotlight again today following two incidents in Italy and England. Yesterday, AC Milan players walked off the pitch after their goalkeeper, Mike Menion, was subjected to racist chanting in their match against Udinese. Al primo rinjo, sono andato a prendere la palla. The first time I went to get the ball and I heard the chant saying monkey, I didn't say anything. Then the second time I went to get the ball, they did it again. So I called the referee's assistants and I told them what happened. I said, we can't play football like that because it's not the first time it's happened when I'm playing. They're ignorant people. They don't represent the whole stadium's fans because the real fans come to the stadium to support their team. Maybe they boo because it's normal in these matches, but these type of insults shouldn't happen in football. We know that people who do these things define themselves as fans, so maybe we can make them stay at home and not come again to the stadium. This would be a very strong sanction, because when you enjoy football, you want to come and watch every match at the stadium. You want your young children to come and learn about football. But if your children know that their father has this type of attitude, well, then that's a shame. In response, Udinese made this statement. We do not tolerate any form of racism. The prosecutor's office will investigate what happened, whether it had been a single person or in case there were more. Nobody tolerates any form of racism. The club first and foremost, and it will take action. Meanwhile, in a championship game between Sheffield Wednesday and Coventry at Hillsborough yesterday, Coventry midfielder Casey Palmer complained to the referee that he'd been subjected to racial abuse from a supporter. The incident happened when he went to retrieve the ball from behind the goal during the closing stages of his side's 2-1 win. A bottle thrown from the stand also appeared to strike another Coventry player. Our correspondent Emma Birchley joins me now. Emma, there's been widespread condemnation from uh, throughout football internationally. Uh, talk us through first, though, this incident at, at AC Milan. Yes, so it was the first half of the game between AC Milan and Udinese. And um, we first saw that something was up when the goalkeeper, French international Mike Maignan, went up to uh, one of the officials um, and basically says that he'd heard monkey noises, monkey gestures, uh, and when it had happened a second time, decided uh, that action had to be taken. So he, in fact, went down the tunnel, left the pitch altogether, and was joined by some of his uh, teammates uh, in a, a show of solidarity. Now, the game resumed a short time later. AC Milan uh, went on to win 3-2, but Maignan made it clear afterwards that it is really important that every Everyone reacts when something like this happens. Now, after the game, uh, AC Milan tweeted, uh, they said, there's absolutely no place in our game for racism. We are appalled. We are with you, Mike. Um, and uh, what happened was also described as totally abhorrent and completely unacceptable by the very top of football, by FIFA's president, uh, Gianni Infantino. He said, as well as the three-step process, match stopped, match restopped, match abandoned. We have to implement an automatic forfeit for the team whose fans have committed racism and caused the match to be abandoned, as well as worldwide stadium bans and criminal charges for racists. Now, we know that uh, people who uh, have been uh, seen to make these chants or, or gestures do face uh, criminal charges. But clubs uh, may face fines. Well, we know that football clubs uh, have an enormous amount of money. So what they're talking about here with an automatic forfeit could well be a points deduction. And, and that, of course, would act as a much bigger deterrent. And what happened at the Coventry Sheffield Wednesday match there, Nemo? So, in that uh, case, it was the closing stages of the match. Again, goalkeeper, this time uh, Casey Palmer, playing for Coventry, um, calls over the referee, um, says that uh, he has faced uh, monkey gestures um, and also monkey noises. Um, I mean, clearly, uh, another case, if this is proved to have happened, the unacceptable behaviour from the stands. Um, and afterwards, uh, Casey Palmer posted on X, racism is a disgrace, it has no place in the world, let alone football. I'm black and proud and I'm raising my three kids to be the exact same. And actually, you know, as proof of 
of how this has unified uh, all sides of football. Both clubs came together, Coventry, Sheffield Wednesday, um, to say that they were shocked and saddened by what had happened, that the authorities uh, are involved and anyone found guilty of any form of racism from the stands would face action. Emma Birchley there bringing us the latest on that story.